Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to show you how to assemble the Gaming Freak Throne GT gaming chair. Step 1, you want to have the box on the floor and you would want to empty the contents of the box and place it on the ground. With everything laid out, you want to make sure that you check the parts with the parts number on the instruction manual given with the box. Now for step 2, attach the backrest to the chair base and secure with screws. So you want to take the backrest and slot it into the chair base on the metal sides. And then you want to screw it into place using the given screw tool and the first set of screws. After securing the screws, you want to make sure that the backrest is well fitted into the chair base. A way of doing that is lifting the chair by its backrest or rocking it frontwards and backwards to ensure sturdiness. Step 3. Attach the backrest mount covers on the chair base and secure with screws. Now these are plastic guards that help cover the steel connectors from the base of the chair to the backrest. And they have one screw hole each for you to fasten in. This is a beat. For this next step, it is recommended to move the chair into this position where the underside is facing up. For step 4, you want to screw on the main plate onto the underside of the chair. Now this main plate is going to be the foundation for the metal stand and also the chair wheels. So you want to fasten it with 4 screws on each corner and make sure they are very tight. Now step 5, you want to attach the plastic cover on the chair metal stand. And step 6, you want to take that completed piece and attach it onto the main plate socket. Now that the main pieces have been put into place, you want to put the chair aside. And for step 7, you want to lay the chair leg top side and install the individual wheels. Now to install the wheels, you merely push pressure down on each of the wheel sockets and make sure that everything is secured tightly. For step 8, you want to install the completed wheel and leg piece into the chair metal stand that we built just now. Now remember to apply a little bit of force to make sure that everything is secured into place. For the last steps, move the chair into an upward position. Continuing to step 9, route the back pillow straps through the top holes and through the cushion feet. Now you have 4 straps, you want to take the 2 top straps and pass it through the top holes and the 2 bottom ones through the cushion and you want to slide it in there and make sure it comes out the other side. Once both straps have been fed through, you want to connect them via the buckles. For step 11, which is almost identical to step 9, you want to route the neck pillow straps through the top holes. Now, the left strap goes for the left hole and the right strap goes for the right hole. Once fed through, you want to connect them via the buckles. And for the final step, you want to apply the plastic screw covers on the screw holes, which are two on the left side on the plastic guard and two on the right on the plastic guard and the backrest adjuster. And that's pretty much it. So you've just constructed yourself the Throne GT. So let's see how we did in this tutorial by looking at these glam shots.
So thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like the video and share it. Go to our Facebook at Gaming Freak Malaysia and also our Instagram at Gaming Freak Malaysia. If you're on Facebook, please tag a friend who might want to see this video as a tutorial or share it with your friends through YouTube and the other medias we talked about. So this is Ayman for Gaming Freak. I'll see you in the next one.